What are cataracts? Hello, I'm Dr. Martha J, and I'd like to explain what cataracts are, what cataract surgery involves, and what the newest innovations are in cataract surgery. Cataracts are a clouding of the lens up here in the front of the eye. What happens as time goes on is, is the lens just gets yellower and light gets caught coming in through the front of the eye before it can hit the retina back here, so you have a blurry image. Symptoms of cataracts include blurred vision for distance viewing, problems seeing at night with glare and halos, problems seeing maybe the ba banner at the bottom of the television, but really you don't know if you have a cataract until you come in for a comprehensive eye examination. Cataracts are repaired with surgery. When you hear that word, sometimes people get a little anxious, but it's a 10-minute outpatient procedure. We don't use shots, stitches, or patches, and 95% of patients have a very good chance of excellent vision after the procedure. What happens in cataract surgery is we give you a mild sedative through an IV line. You lay on your back and you look at a bright microscope light, and we put drops on the surface of the eye. You don't feel anything, no sharp, no dull pain, no pressure. It's really very pleasant, and as I said, it only takes about 10 minutes. So what I do is I make a tiny opening on the surface of the eye, a 2.3 millimeter incision, and I go inside the eye and actually vacuum out this cataract and replace it with a plastic implant. Afterwards, you look pretty much the way you look now. Your eyes aren't red, irritated. You put drops in starting several days ahead of time and going several weeks at afterwards. As I said, 95% of patients do beautifully with cataract surgery. It is an operation. You could have a complication. A bad complication like bleeding, infection, or blindness occurs on the order of one in 200,000, so very unlikely. Another thing that could happen is part of that lens could fall into the back of the eye requiring a second operation. That's more common but easily fixable. The newest thing with cataract surgery has to do with the implants. So once we take the lens out, we need to put another lens in or you won't see well. A standard implant allows you to have very good distance vision. So there's nothing wrong with a standard implant. Uh, what happens with those is you have very good distance vision and you still need glasses for reading. Many patients over the years have been quite happy with this kind of vision correction. Newer options, however, include a multifocal lens where you can see both far away, close up, and intermediate afterwards without glasses. So that little implant is put in at the time of surgery just as a standard implant would be. The advantages are you're relatively independent of glasses. We don't guarantee you'd never use glasses, but it would be very rare. Uh, dis one disadvantage is that this extra implant is not covered by insurance. So there are costs that are associated with it that would not be covered by your insurance or your secondary insurance. Thirdly, if you have this type of implant, at first at least, you may have some trouble with li uh, circles around lights at night. It's a circle system or a ring system. The center part you see very close up, then all the rings outside of that allow you to see the different distances. Generally, you get used to that over a month or so, and most people are very pleased with the outcome. The key, though, is how you feel about reading glasses. If you're fine with reading glasses, then you go with the standard implant. If you really wish you could be independent of those and you, you want to go with the multifocal lens, that's an excellent option. A third option is a toric implant, and that allows you to have very good distance vision if you have astigmatism. A lot of people don't know that they have astigmatism. That has to do with curvature of the surface of the eye. So if your eye is somewhat football shape, then you have astigmatism, and you might choose a toric implant at the time of your cataract surgery, which would give you much better distance vision. I know this is a lot of information, and really you don't know what pertains to you until you come in for a cataract evaluation. First thing we do at that point is we de decide if you do or do not have cataract surgery. We discuss your particular eyes and which implants might be appropriate for you and talk, talk about the benefits and risks of each possible option. So your first step will be to call for your cataract evaluation. Thank you.